As you know, the centerpiece of the Rosh Hashanah service is the Musaf Amida, the additional Amida which contains the major themes of the holiday season. The Amida always begins and ends with the same paragraphs, while the middle section, the most important part of the prayer, changes to suit the occasion. For Rosh Hashanah, there are three blessings in the middle section. Malchuyot, the themes of divine majesty, Zichronot, remembrance, and Shofrot, sounding the shofar. The order of the three themes and the relationship between them are explained as follows. We accept God as our ruler. We ask to be remembered by God. That is, we ask that God fulfill his assurances and help us. And we declare our desire for redemption, for individual and national freedom, symbolized by the sounding of the shofar. But it all begins with the Aleinu, the great Aleinu, the original Aleinu, the one Aleinu that you just heard. And it's one of our oldest prayers. It was real, originally used only in Rosh Hashanah, on the Rosh Hashanah service, but was later added at the end of every service. Many people have asked me, where does its special melody come from? Well, back in the day, I would simply answer, from my dad. But with further research, it is known as one of the original Mesinai tunes, meaning it's so old, it goes back to the time when Moses was at Mount Sinai, probably humming this tune as he carried the tablets. It's a mystery. We turn now, well, like, a, like any great book or movie, there is a place where everything just comes together. This is, this is the time where we have majesty and nostalgia and history and triumph. Malchuyot is about all that is beyond us. God, nature, the cosmos, God's hand in our fate, past, present, and future. We are created in God's image, but oh, so far from truly being godly. It is through God's grace that we have and will survive. Am Yisrael Chai. Come with us in our Mahsur to the bottom of page 156, you will hear Sushari pleading to God to open the gates, lift the barriers to the city of Jerusalem. God provides us entry into his sacred residence with pageantry and regalness, but once in, we can speak most intimately with him. 